Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science 2. Well, I assume we're coming back. Anyway, if you can hear in the background there's quite a lot of noise. So I'm going to go and show you what that is and sort it out as well at the same time. So basically I made a sound muffler. Very simple recipe. And I basically added a new snow golem. And he's, he has basically got an annihilation plane to just generating snow the whole time. So let's put the muffler, I've got a muffler here, it's our muffler. There, that's a bit better for me. Still here a bit. And the reason I'm hearing more sound is because I activated the air bubble. And the reason I've activated the air bubble is because I've got so much snow coming in. But I'm not using all the power, all the snow for that. I'm using the snow for something else. And I should come and show you what I'm using it for. I'm basically using it, instead of using uh, cobble, Mars cobblestone for water, I'm using snow for water. Where has it gone to? It's melting that all the time, or in, and as you can see, it's basically got almost nothing in there all the time. So it's coming in and going out as fast as it possibly can, and it's for it's coming into here. So we're making back to grinding cobblestone. Of course, we need lots and lots of cobblestone. So now I think I've got something else I've done here. I've enabled this, and I've enabled it. So, it, and I've also set up a, a level emitter here using the same principle so but so what i'm saying is if the cobblestone goes below 1000 then we're not going to process this so it's going to come through here and i rearrange this a little bit as well and it's going to get actually it's going at a reasonably fast rate even with this high speed stuff so i must be generating i think i'm generating more cobblestone now than i was before let's have a look because we need tons yeah, as you can see i've got the air bubble here I've turned it on I think I'll turn the, the view of it off so if we look at cobblestone here it's actually going it's about staying about the same maybe going up slightly while I was also I'm not exactly sure what it's going up and down maybe it's going no not sure I think it's going down very slowly so anyway when it gets to a thousand it'll turn off I also added some more um, Sterling generators here because I put in those the quad double air capacitors to generate 5000 RF per tick. So now these double air capacitors are actually quite interesting, and I can show you what I can demonstrate that I think. Yes, I can. Let's go upstairs. While I'm upstairs, if I come over here and then hide the air bubble, I think the air bubble's on this one, isn't it? Bubble visible. Turn it off. We don't need the air bubble. So we can actually run this all the time now. So it's not bad at all. Right. Um, I'll get the capacitor bank. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to drain all the power out of it. Which is very easy to do. Just put it come along here and put it on these on this one here and it'll come out it'll power go out it's about a thousand RF per tick because it's just a basic capacitor bank in fact while I'm going to go and do that while that's doing that let's go and get some food I can't remember where it was it's been for a while it's been for a while actually right that'll do Where's it gone to? Right, okay, it should not quite, it's not quite empty, but in here I've got plenty of carbon. What I'm going to do is take two pieces of carbon out of here, like that. And I'm going to put one of those, uh, one of these carbons in a double, a capacitor bank with a double layer capacitor, and the other one with the octetic layer, uh, the octetic capacitor, because this generates more. And it says the burn time is 300%. Which I'm not exactly sure I understand. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come along and turn off this one. I think we should right click it with this. No, and then maybe I need the other tool. Let's use this one. And this one. So they'll burn out the carbon. In fact, we can take the carbon out anyway. Once the capacitor bank's empty. It's empty now, good. Let's take the capacitor bank here and just put it down somewhere. like that and let's take this sterling generator and let's take out the carbon out of here 
and also the carbon out of this one so they burn so it burns empty in fact you can see this has actually gone down more than the other one they were both they both would have had about 50, 64 in it right so these are empty so let's just pick these up what i'm going to do is put them one here and the other one on the other side okay so now this is the one with the the octatic capacitor and this is the double air capacitor so what we're going to do is put one piece of carbon in there and that should if i'm not mistaken fill up this it is it's filling it up at a thousand rf per tick which is what we'd expect because that's the maximum you can, capacity you could have this thing and then that's going to go up and this is going to burn down so now it's burned down and this one is now stable at 319,000 RF. So let's just remove this one. So 319 is a number to remember. So let's put it over here, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm just going to put one piece of carbon in. I don't have to connect it up just a moment because it'll stop burning when it's... Oh, maybe not actually. Oh, I think it just... Oh, maybe that's a mistake. Oops. Right. Let's just put that over here. Just get it out. Let's get the power out of it to start with. Good. Let's put that down again. So this is not quite empty yet. It should be. I put it in the wrong place. Nope. What's wrong with it? I configured it in some way. Oh, it's got configured on the output on the back to be. We just need to turn it off basically. Don't disable it, just off. There we go. That was strange. Wonder how that got. I wonder how that got set up. So when this is empty. Okay, good. Let's pick it up and put it down over here. I'm actually going to put that one back now. We've put one piece of carbon into here. And we'll see what we get in here. As you can see, it's going up. While that's doing that, I'm going to put this one back again. Yep, picked it up good. And I'll put it down here. So that will then automatically fill, get filled up with carbon because it's going to come in from the top. And it's, it's actually on a round robin that. Uh, um, extractor at the top or the servo at the top so it should come into here reasonably quickly or we'll wait if you sit right so this one's now just about finished now it's empty and this one's got in it 679 so it's more than twice what you get from one piece of carbon so it's worthwhile by the looks of it doing the upgrading these all to well at least one of them too octatic capacitors but it does require 10 double air capacitors to get it so that's a that's a bit of a lot in fact we'll leave that there and pick up this one i think they're going towards this actually double check it no it didn't pick any good so we'll just put this one back down here now and as you can see <laughs> hair brian's been here hair brian's been here so this will also get its carbon in again it's already reached 61 and this will get some we'll put some in in the meantime forget it going and same with this one i don't think i've got any space in here nope so i'll just put the other rest of the carbon back upstairs just put it in the system like this so this this basic capacitor bank we'll put downstairs and um, back where it was which is here. So with two of these, by the way, you get double. You get double the amount. So that's actually got a. That's very strange. That you can do it like this, or you can basically right-click it till you get the one I use. It tends to be this one. So you can see it's full, and this one tells you how much it's full by. So this one then has. If we look at this, right-click. This one has maximum output double. Just in case you ever wondered. Right. So the next thing I'd like to do today, or is prime purpose for today, is to finish the automation for, um, I'm going to think about the steel holes, 
steel hulls are a bit on the expensive side but uh, they're not as expensive so I'll look at this um, let's think what I was going to do one oh yes I've got my 64 level I don't know why I did this actually let's go and fix that while I'm thinking about it in here is it this one yes I've got this encoded pattern which was the that I don't need to do that. I'm thinking about it. I'll bring it into here. I can put it back into this here, and you see this is the recipe for 64k circuit. But we've got five already, so I might as well just put one of those in there like that. Put that back again and update update it. That actually has the correct recipe in it now. Doing clear that off. But of course, oops. If we put this into not into the assembly table, into the interface like this. And we come back over here. And we want to do one of those. Um, if I want to craft it, let's have a look. I'm sure I still can't craft one. Actually, we're missing phosphorus, but is that all? I do actually know what's happened a little bit. I've got 32 of these available, these engineering processes, because I added them to the stack. But you see, I'm, I'm short of pure Sutis quartz. So I think, at the moment, this one is not available to do. So it's 344 diamonds plus the 32 there, so it's 364. Is there anything else that uses diamonds in here? And you see, I've got one of these available anyway. So. 1k storage available so that reduces the price of it a lot so you see it's actually um these things are really seriously expensive in fact i've even got one at 16 16k storage available so i'm don't think i can do that for a while even i can easily increase the phosphorus that's no big deal in fact i think we did that before what have we got here it said no crafting cpus available ah yes we're still crafting machine parts and we're crafting some formation cores. I hope that's actually working, in fact. It doesn't look... I'm not sure why it's not working. There's a recipe for them. Maybe it's just taking its time to actually do those. should be very almost instantaneous, actually, thinking about it. Because they should appear in here, and I don't think... Which one's it doing it in? That's empty. And I put a torch in it. Well done. Don't need this torch on here. Well, before I'll do that, I'll put it as a Minecraft torch. Let's put that on there like that. And keep it as a useful Minecraft torch instead of a useless galactic science torch. I think. Oh, yes, and this one here is attached to the storage bus. You see, I've actually got these. In fact, I don't know why it's crafting those at all. So let's just cancel that one. I'm not sure what CPU is on. Probably the one upstairs, is it? Oh, yes, it'd be the one upstairs. Because one way of saving power was to actually disable to turn this off here. Because when I was noticed I was running out of power, all I did is switch this off. Of course, it disables everything down here. But it does. That, that all of these machines, when they're doing nothing, use a lot of power. So, anyway, it could be this one that's got it running on here. Let's cancel that. Maybe that was the problem with that. So, right. Steel holes. Let's look at the recipe for steel holes. I think I've still got that. I've, nope. Oh, I was actually looking at weatherproof. Do you know why? Because while the skeletons don't seem to be turning into um, wither skeletons, I have got eight wither skeleton skulls, so I can make some um, withers. Which is interesting. So I was looking at with the proof in here, and basically you've got this, which isn't too expensive actually. But we need quite a few. I'm going to have to figure out what exactly how many we need, and I'll do that next time I think. So anyway, let's have a look at our steel holes. And that is this one, isn't it? Steel hole. So we're processing these now. I think that shouldn't be too much difficult. This bedrock ingot's going to be a problem, and so is the block of dash. 
because the Mars quarry hasn't got down deep enough yet to start producing dash. But having said that, we can still get on and do some of these some of these other bits and pieces I think. So I have got a recipe for um bedrocky ingots, haven't I? So I've got some bedrocky ingots in here. I've, well I've got a crafting recipe of it anyway. I have got them stored. In fact, what I did with them, let's see if we can craft any of these. <laughs> We're missing blocks of diamonds. Can I craft? I thought I could craft blocks of diamonds. Let me just check that out. Oh no. I need a recipe for blocks of diamonds. Let's put that in. So we've got 517 di diamonds there, which is quite a decent amount. So let's put this one, let's put the recipe for this in here. And click that into place and then we've got that one so let's clear that off and put those back again so we should actually be able to get these bedrocky ingots being made and i think i'll do it in the same way as i'm doing the other bits just to feed it across slowly um let's go to the crafting area over here because i have in fact moved it well okay yes i moved some stuff upstairs because when I was turning things off I couldn't do anything so let me just come up here and I put it in here look so I've created a new interface um, so we just need to put the, a block of diamonds in there and that should carry on with that one how are we doing in here let's have a look at this chest so we've got 29 machine parts now which is uh, not too bad if I take away half of these it should generate some more because that's in the recipes there. Yes, it is. So let it. Let us do that. And also, let's make some bedrocky ingots. Now I should be able to make them. That's ten, wasn't it? So this time it's going to craft those. So we've got forty-four available quadruplets, but no CPUs available. Oh, now we can do it. Quickly whip in there and get that in place. Because they don't take very long, because they're just a straightforward crafting recipe. Now what we have to do with these, is we've got two choices. Basically we have to put, we have to smelt them. So, let's get my, actually let's get this one down. I can go a little bit faster with the RR pickaxe in my hand, even with these ten things. So let's just put them into the back of the crucible. There'll be iron and stuff coming in here, which is plenty of it. I was just wondering if I could speed all of this up. There we go. Oops. Broken tin. So let's put the broken tin back in here. Where's it gone to there? So what we could do with this, of course, let me, I should have a working, a f what's it called? I keep thinking of them as the fluid, the fluid patterns, and have I got one for bedrockium? That's molten molten steel. That's molten steel. That's liquid rubber. I think I don't have one for bedrockium yet. Let's get one for bedrockium because we should have bedrockium in here. Just like that. Put it across. Yeah. We now have yes, we definitely didn't have one of the looking anything like that, did we? So what we can do, of course, we can then start to get the faceplates, and I can automate this in the same way as I've done this. I can't put bedrocky ingots in here, but I can put the faceplate down there. So let's get the faceplate pattern out. Here we are, and then we can put it into here. So let's just remove this. I think I have to click. There we are. So if I put the faceplate down now, like that, and then put the bedrock uh, fluid into here, it should craft that quite happily. And then we should get start to get them down here. Let's have a look. Oh, of course I can't see it from them to be at this edge. So I've already got two bedrock in plates. So we're going to need quite a few of those. How much is in here? I probably can... Actually, it's not too far off. I think that's probably about 144. I think that might be just two more ingots. So if we can get two more ingots of uh, bedrockium, we 
we should be able to finish this off. Let's just test that out, do we? Yep, we can do that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in, in the machine one at a time. In the Magna Crucible. See which one it actually finishes off. Because there's no good leaving half a or a part of a, a faceplate in there. So let's have a look. Um, actually, you know what? I probably could put one into here. 144, yep. So let's have a look how many it's got in here now. 108. So I think 144, yep, I'll make it 152. So the other one was the right number. Oh, that was good. So we can put this into here. Unusual, I didn't expect that to happen. Right, we're back to normal walking speed now. So we should have, that should now be empty. It is. So we can remove the bedrocking from here and we can also remove the, the faceplate from here and we can have a look at this chest we should have three bedrockian plates in here fantastic so let's put those away because that will allow us to make at least some of it you can put this face pattern away it's going to the right place too so the idea is to get the the steel hole machine holes done so i should be able to do this recipe except for i've got not enough dash so let's just see how much we have got in here oops we've got 62 and 5 i think I'll tell you what we'll do we'll make a recipe for this anyway so we'll put that in there in the same one as before to face that is so now what do we actually need for this thing I'm going to move this stuff out that I don't need in my inventory out of the way a bit that was obsidian right so we need one face bedrock in face play let's get everything out that we need can't do that can I want to sort my inventory right so bedrock in one of those in fact it's probably better to do this over here isn't it is a, as a process pattern anyway let's clear that off that was one bedrock in face plate put that back again steel hole next one 32 blocks of dash okay um, So we've got five. That's a lot of dash, isn't it? If I right keep right clicking on this one, it'll keep up going up. So we can do we can do the 32 like this. Even though we haven't got enough. Next one. 32 machine parts. Probably haven't got 32 machine parts in stock. Let's go and see what we have. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe we have got more than 32 actually. Oh we've got 31. Wow. Well, <laughs> oh really of course yes because it's already made let's just put one of those back in there like that so if we put down 30 and then two clicks right clicks it'll put the 32 in there right so the next thing advanced alloy shouldn't be too much of a difficulty like we've got that 32 of those straight away next one was 32 carbon plates I haven't got any of these crafted let's craft 32 of these or maybe I have there might be some in here as it happens I did I didn't check hard enough yes I've got 32 already made fantastic okay so that's that one and then wrong one okay next one advanced circuits haven't got any in there i wonder if we've got some in here i think we might have actually 
No, I haven't got any advanced circuits. Fantastic. I probably got all the thing. Everything's been crafted, is it? Gold. Interesting. We should be able to craft some advanced circuits anyway. Might be short of something. Yeah. Wow, surprise. Copper, insulated copper. Uh, rubber. I haven't got a recipe for this yet. I didn't, that's actually a slightly complicated one. But let's just craft one of these to start with then. And when we get a CPU free, that is. Um, well, actually, while we're waiting for that to come free, let's go and get the rubber. In fact, I would actually like to make 64 of those. Let's just do... So, right, good. So let's go and get the, the wire, copper wire. Seven, huh? Not really enough. Let's do a what did I, 100. Oh, yes, of course. That's going to be a pain. I can't do that until it starts up. We're basically running out of things. What we've got in here. I'm not sure why it keeps crafting this gold. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's put this away in here and go and f see what we can do for rubber in here. Oh, I didn't get the w the work in progress for the fluid pattern for rubber. Let me just get that one. Which is this one? Now, can I craft these copper cables? Oops. Not yet. I might just sit. Yes, we, can, we need them. So let's get on and get to get them processed. Fantastic. They're coming in there at a time. So that's fairly good. Right. So we just put the rubber into here like that then we can come along here make sure we've got put rubber in here yep as simple as that and then come down here and put the com the copper into here so let's basically we need that one in there and then these go into there like that and then we should be getting some more i don't think we've got anything in here nope i've got some energetic alloy but of course that was to make um Capacitors, double air capacitors. 13, 14. They'll take those out of there and we'll go and put those in the system and get the others out of here as well. Okay, 86. Put those 15 in there. We could take the other. Well, I'll leave the 60. No, I'll take them out of here. What have we got for a bar? 51. Craft another. Oops. I think I did craft more than that, didn't I? It's coming in slowly, but it's coming in fast enough, so let's get on and make these. Only I've got to get through the doorway, of course. It gets a slightly harder when you're going so fast as well. So let's put these rubber balls in here. And then put the copper into here. Copper cables. Well, that's working. Let's take these out. Let's see if we can actually make those advanced circuits now. Oh, that's a surprise. Nope, we're still missing five. Okay. We have enough for the time being, and in here I can probably put some more. Yes, I can get all the rest of the carp, copper cables in there now. I should automate this a bit as well. It depends on how many we need, if it's worth all automating or not. So let's put those into the system and see if we can get out of the circuits. So 
So now we can do that as well. So as soon as we've got one, well, that should come into here by the way, and we can then check that. It should come into this one. I'll double check this is actually set up. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't look like it's ready to do advanced circuits on here. So we have to wait for the ingredients to come in before it actually will work. Okay, so we might as well have a look at how the ingredients are getting on as well. So let's look at the crafting status. So it's scheduled 56 electronic circuits. But it hasn't got any prepared yet. Right, now it's starting to prepare, it's starting to craft those electronic circuits now. That's good. And I think as soon as you get the first one, we can then get the ingredients ready for the second one. For the advanced circuit. Because all I really want is one advanced circuit, and then we can set the recipe up for um, steel machine frames. Steel holes. There we go, look. So now we can click that in. And then we just have to wait. It's just a waiting game. So the only thing I really ought to do is to get this automated here. But I think I might move that snow golem out of here. I put him upstairs because I thought it was a good idea. Because when I disabled the system, I was going to definitely keep having enough uh, snow. So maybe I should move him downstairs and get the other one work doing all the work not too difficult actually I can have both because this one can do th this and I can just set the toggle bus here for being uh, the submitter to having a lower number so if I set this to 32 then it's always going to have 32 upstairs and if I set it downstairs it's going to go downstairs so we could actually admit and it seems to be oops going up and down fine so maybe I'll just do it like that Let's put this back into the system by the way. Let's have a look if we've got any advanced circuits. One, fantastic. So we need 32 of these. That's such a lot, really. Put that into there. And then the last component was 32 coal chunks, and I think we've got those as well. No, just craftable, which means we've got them in here. Yep. So I think that's the recipe now. Like that. So we'll create one of these, but what are we going to use to do? Let's make yet a wrench this time. Because we haven't got any machine steel machine holes to actually do. Let's go put this now into the into here, into this interface. And then come back and we'll see what we've actually got to do. I think it's going to tell us we haven't got anywhere near enough materials, but let's just have a look. Uh, I guess I've got to do yet a wrench, haven't I? So you see we haven't got anywhere near enough dash just to do this, we need 100, another 181 iron. We've got we need 102k. Oh, that's a lot. We've got 36 aluminum blocks. We haven't. We're missing 10. Have we got a recipe for that? Cables are missing. We're missing everything basically. Nine thousand refined irons to do 1024 plates to make 32 of these it's a lot of stuff isn't it but it's actually quite nice because at least you can see where your problems are going to be so aluminum block i don't think i have a recipe for aluminum block but i do think we have a recipe for aluminum ingots let's just have a look well we've got a recipe for this aluminum blend and lumen ingots. Have we got plenty of lumen ingots? Let's just set up a recipe for one of these. So the recipe for that is that. We create oh, there's a crafting recipe. 
Let me just go back to that because I want my. Yeah, oh, actually, I didn't put it in there. It's just a crafty recipe. Let's get that out of there. And this is actually one that's a bit difficult to craft at the moment, of course, because we've got no aluminum block. Because we we can't really say. Actually, we can. It's not a big deal. We can do it. So now, aluminum ingots, because we get this random choice of being dust or whatever. The next thing I want to really do in that case is to make a redstone furnace. Oops, wrong place. I should do it down here. By the way, let's just double check that again for the hole. Ah, it's just a wrench, isn't it? See, this time I'll have enough because it'll use these. Iron's not going to be anywhere near enough, but we can fix that. Very easy, actually. We just go downstairs and change the um, the 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 cache. So we might just the one that gives a hundred k, which we can do over here. Iron. See, this is only storing forty thousand. So let's just pick this up. Only storing forty thousand. And let's come up so let's go upstairs again. And let's look for the uses of this. Oh gosh. That was wrong. That's better. Maybe I hit recipes to leave uses. <laughs> it's so hard to travel with this. Right, so when I put this down there, then it's going to be 160,000. So that's plenty. And as you can see, it should be going up quite fast. And I've only got one. Let's put two accelerators in here, see if that actually goes up faster. We'll just have to wait and see. Oops, wrong one. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But there's a lot of other things I'm missing anyway. So I was going to do a redstone furnace. I've already made a redstone furnace. That was an early game thing. But let's just have a look what we got to do for it. Maybe it's easy to look for furnace, huh? Redstone furnace. Okay, bricks. No problem. So what do we have? Redstone, two copper gears. But only one... Oh, no, we got four pieces of redstone. We only need one anyway. Copper gears. Oh, we need one of these. I saw redstone reception coil. We've got two copper gears. What else do we need? Machine frame and bricks. We don't have any bricks, but we might have some. We've got plenty of clay. Then that's uh, silicon. Now oh, we've got plenty of this actually. So we need eight, don't we? Tell you what I'll do. I'll make. I'll do 32. And what was the other thing I needed? Machine frame. Right, I can get that built as well. In fact, that, that goes over a thing across the other side, doesn't it? So now we need to set up that recipe. So, right, that was done. Now we need to press this recipe. So it was one. Two of those. Now I need to get some bricks. Let's just get some bricks. In fact, I don't really need the recipe for this, do I? I 
Ah, you know what? I think I've run out of time. Do you know what I do? I normally use the oxygen as an indicator, but because I've got this bubble here, the oxygen's not going down, and I've completely forgotten about it. So, until next time, when we'll finish this off, I'll do some more stuff, I'm going to say bye for now.